Hi, and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, we have Lieutenant Kristen Daly from the Belmont Police Department. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Lieutenant, we are in a very safe town, but we need to pay, make some precautions, right? What's going on? Yes, we do. Um, actually, in the past few days, we've had four cars stolen. Uh, that includes actually even today. The most recent one was today, that this morning. Um, we had two motor vehicles, well, motor vehicle and a motorcycle stolen on August 23rd, another motor vehicle stolen on August 24th, and then the last one was today on August 26th. They were kind of in the Concord Ave area. Um, one was on Myrtle Street, uh, another one uh, was in the area of Partridge Lane, and then the other one was also on Concord Ave. The motorcycle was an Acorn Park Drive. What we found in common with the, the cars that were stolen was that they were all unlocked. And the owners are not sure where their keys are. They said they didn't think their keys were in the car, but they don't know where the keys are. So we unfortunately, we can, you know, we might have to believe that these cars were not only unlocked, but that the keys were in it. All right, so uh, what do we tell to the community uh, well, about the cars? Well, we always try to stress to the residents to always lock your car doors because it doesn't just prevent, um, you know, larceny of your motor vehicle, but also just the breaking and entering. You know, there's been a time where we've had a ration of during different times of the year where people break into someone's car and steal things. So we always recommend people not just to lock your car doors, but take anything of value out, especially when you're parking your car for the night. Don't leave a computer. Don't leave your wallet. Don't leave your laptop, especially in plain view, because that just entices the person to do it. But we've really, rarely, rarely have ever had a car break where someone's actually had to smash the window. They've just opened up the door. And if they're just going to take items from it, they just take the items and leave. Or if they're going to steal the car, unfortunately, the keys are in it. So please lock your doors, take your keys with you and any other valuables and bring them inside the home. That is the best way to prevent either someone breaking into your motor vehicle and stealing your items or stealing your motor vehicle. Thank you so much for your work. And let's remember, don't take our safety for granted and lock the doors to your cars and your homes. Thank you Thank again you. for coming. Thank you very much. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time. If you like biking and care about social justice and the environment, Bikes Not Bombs 35th Annual Bikeathon is the event for you. On Sunday, September 11th, riders will depart from Stony Brook Field to make a plane and ride on 10, 30, 50, or 100 mile routes. There will be rest stops, food, and route markings along the way. A fantastic lunch and live music will be provided after the ride. You are helping Bikes Not Bombs use the bicycle as a vehicle for social change in Boston and throughout the Global South. For more information and to register as a rider or volunteer, go to bikesnotbombs.org.